Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So yeah, I've had a look at a couple of screenshots from Rogue Tech 999. I guess they're working on it for the 1.5 update that just came out last week. Uh, this is Saturday the March 16th, 15th, 16th, something like that, um, that I'm recording on. And you'll see this episode probably on the Monday the 18th or 17th or whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, um, the snapshot looks really, really cool. Um, what, well, the, from what I've seen anyway, uh, I saw a, a clip of, um, or a screenshot of the mech uh, bay when you're rebuilding your mech. So it looks like they've gone to six slots for the legs. So you've got the hip, upper, lower, and uh, foot actuators for the mech now installed, and then your two free slots. Uh, the arms, I'm assuming that they're going to be going with the same actuator situations, upper, lower, and mid actuator. The head has been expanded. There's a couple of life support slots that I saw there. And it looked like four other slots in the head too. So that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how that's all going to work. But it looks like um, with those actuators in the leg, what you can probably end up doing is uh, if you're targeting someone's leg and crit it, before you even blow it off, you can uh, do damage that's going to slow the movement down, which is going to be kind of cool. Um, and I'm, my guess is that you're going to have each individual things, like maybe the talons will go on where the foot actuator is. I don't know 100% for sure yet, but we'll see how to see how it goes. But the one kind of thing I've heard, uh, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but it seems you might need to put your mechs in storage and then bring them back out to update them to the new... Uh, 998 and I guess they don't work or launch until you do that or something I can't remember so we're probably going to need and once again don't quote me on this I could be completely wrong probably going to need to be uh, saving up some sea bills so I attempted to do that with um, uh, Night Witches uh, earlier today when I was recording and um, I'll let you watch that episode see how it turned out um, but uh, we're gonna attempt to do something similar here we do have 3.1 million um, C bills in the bank which is excellent we're getting our high capacity power conduits updated I sold a whole bunch of stuff between episodes so uh, yeah we got a lot of stuff that's been um, sold off that we didn't need so we have a bunch of C bills here and um, yeah, so I'm ready to tar start taking some contracts, but let's have a look at the star map because things have changed since basically yesterday when I recorded. Um, so yeah, if we have a look at the map here, um, Tamaron, which was 100% Diamond Shark, is now controlled by Clan Wolf. Wolf has got their feet in, or sorry, uh, Goliath Scorpion's got their feet in Hellgate. Wolf's got their feet in here. So we're probably going to have to go over and fight. But if we go back to Ironhold, looks like Jade Falcon's got 28%. So if anybody that's watching this series is actually uh, working on getting Jade Falcon back, uh, that's awesome. They are not completely gone, which is excellent. So that's a good thing to hear. Uh, we're not quite at the four and a half skull range just yet. And I don't want to change the difficulty to be able to fly back there. But we're coming up on it pretty close. If we can get a few more mech pieces and stuff, we might be able to go there to help out. Uh, but I think the goal today is right now uh, Clan Wolf controls Launderholm completely. So we're going to pull off a couple of missions here and then we're going to head over here to help Clan Diamond Shark out. Um, they're getting fought back. There's a lot of people that are, um, you know, working on Clan Wolf's behalf. There's another planet over here. It's one and a half skull. I don't really want to go there, um, but we may, depending, I don't know to go against Clan Wolf to help Diamond Shark out. But I think what we're going to do today, because I want to check out um, faction stores a little bit, is I want to go, um, since we have the sea the bills now, to go to different planets, I want to go ahead and I want to ally with Diamond Shark for now. Just because I want to see what's in the clan stores. I haven't seen that personally yet at all. So let's just ally with Diamond Shark for now. I know it's kind of... Yeah, they're really a warden clan, and I think uh, Jade Falcon was one of the clans that uh, wanted to go invade the Inospheres. But let's just ally with them for now, um, just so we can see that. And we're going to confirm this. So let's work with Diamond Shark here on this planet. So let's go to the contracts, see what we got here. So there's a few still left we can take. we got Incomplete Intelligence, which is against pirate enemies here, which will land Diamond Shark a bit of um, uh, foothold on the planet. There's also the Repost mission, which I don't think we're going to take. Uh, there's usually never anything that we can, like, one out of seven salvage is kind of a waste of time. But there's also Hell's Horses here against Clan Wolf, which we can run our second lance with. Um, 
and well this is another post so once we we'll pull these two missions off first then we'll jump planet um see what's in the clan store because i don't think we can get access to anything here because there's not yeah they they were not fraction control planet so uh, let's go ahead and do this so contracts actually let's have a look at the mech bay first too i don't or barracks i, I don't think we've um updated anybody yet i don't think yeah we're gonna hold off spending xp for you yeah, so we got piloting at 6 now for blockade, which will give us an extra evasion, which is awesome. Uh, El Duce, um, where do we want to go? You're in close most of the time. This will give us a bonus sprint. This is indirect, which we're not using. Over heat threshold. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Get a little bit of overheat threshold just so that we can work a little better on warmer planets. Let's confirm this. I know this mech runs pretty cool right now, but uh, still can be useful. Um, Griff is still working on getting guts up. He was out for 78, 78 days, which is why he's so far behind. Um, and then Mockingbird is pretty good. Now, I was mentioning too, we wanted to see what her kill record is. So let's have a look at her service record real quick. 48 deployments, 69 mech kills. 23 other kills, 628 days with the company, three injuries taken. So 69 kills. Uh, let's put about Griff here. He's got 48 deployments, 50 kills. El Duce, 58 kills, 51 deployments. Blockade, 50 deployments, 48 kills. So yeah, she's definitely the uh, the clear winner here. Actually, let's have a look at the second lance just to see if there's anything. Uh, six pack. Yeah, let's get your piloting up because I want to get into the uh, um, evasion next. Um, and Sundance. Yep, let's go up with evasion. Training. Extra evasion is always a really good thing, especially on lower skilled mech warriors. So we've got this is the called shot bonus uh, with Hannibal. We want to go that route or we want to go piloting? Let's go with the cult shot bonus for now. We're close, we got the point, so let's spend it. And Avalanche will leave because she's yep. a backup pilot right now. Okay, so let's deploy contracts. And incomplete intelligence. I know it's pirates, but gonna go full salvage, see what we can get off these guys. Now we do know kind of roughly what we're looking at um, for parts that we need. Um, so hopefully we can find some stuff in here today, maybe, that we don't completely obliterate. Um, e and F, and let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Destroy the warehouses on this map. We got the tools, we got the talent, so let's get this done, guys. Gonna go up take the high ground again. Roger that. So, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are following uh, my other series, uh, Night Witches. Uh, the episode I recorded today is a little longer for them as well. And it was really, I think, I think it was a pretty good episode. A lot of good combat in there. Um, the one thing I did notice, I was wondering why um, I wasn't getting very difficult missions. Uh, now, not all the missions in that episode are, are difficult, but I did have my difficulty setting set to one skull. So I don't know if that was the actual case why we were having problems. Um, but it's a possibility. Okay, looks like we got second line mechs here. Oh no, so these are uh, pirates. Commander? Right, pirates. Now they may not be able to see us, so if we stick together, that's good. Um, I was also mentioning too in my other series is that actually we better reserve you. Um, El Duce. Um, so someone mentioned mentioned about gave me a thank you about um, uh, ECMs. Now ECMs are great, um, and in this particular version they're particularly needed. Uh, like once again, I don't think these guys can see us yet. I don't think we show up on their sensors. Uh, but the other thing you have to keep in mind when you are playing 
with ECMs and stuff is that you need to have good sensors as well. You need to have the ability to spot the opponents. Uh, and that just is the number of sensor checks you have. So let's see what we're going to do here before we do anything. Let's move up. Uh, I think I want to target the Hunchback. He's the closest. AC-10 normal. Let's target this guy. See if we can bring him down early. Uh, yeah, so you want to have... Um, if you have good ECMs, you also want to have good sensors that are going to give you uh, actual extra visual range if you can get it. Uh, you also want to have um, increased sensor range. Um, you want to have um, the number of sensor checks that you get, as, as many as possible. So if you can get a um, either sensors or maybe your ECM has got f like five bonus sensor checks, it just means when you move, your sensors are being checked five times against every target that you can possibly see. Um, which gives you a better chance to spot them before they can spot you. So these mechs here don't really have any ECM or they don't have any um, sensors really so they only get really one chance to spot us. If they don't spot us then they're not shooting at us which is why a lot of the time when I move in in the first couple turns nobody's shooting or moving because they just they, they don't even see us. They don't even know we're there yet. Right? So that's something to keep in mind. Have good sensors. Let's just move up uh, I'm not going to worry about this for now. On my way. Don't need to worry about firing. And blockade. Let's get up here. Um, you, on the other hand, we got some range on you. So let's uh, fire at this turret, see what we can do. Yeah, man. So the other thing, too, if your playstyle um, supports it, you could load, on if you're using clans, load a lot of ER weapons with good targeting system, laser targeting systems, and just stay back here and shoot guys at range. If that's what you want. Uh, they're going to need to move forward to spot you. Oh, gauntlet. Nice. Get some parts off that guy. Hard to kill, but good to get parts from. So that's an option you can do. Uh, I think with the new system, like I said, with the this uh, the new Rotex system and having to have well, I don't think it's, it's the mod that's in it, but having to have those sensor checks and using sensors and stuff, I think it's a far better system than the older version where you had to kind of get within visual range to be able to fire. It's much more of a, a, a thinking person's game than it was before. You really got to think about um, what you're doing and who you're targeting at what range and stuff like that. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Let's get back into combat here. Blockade, let's get up here. I copy. And let's see if we can finish this tower off. Uh, wow, it's got a lot of hit points. So let's not worry about him for right now. Hunchback's in the way of us getting the high ground, so let's fire on him. Roger that. Nicely done. Critical hit, Commander. So we should be able to grind this guy up this turn. It's a chance to hit. Really good. So we're going to fire everything. And we're just going to move into here. Get away from this direct fire turrets. Um, Griff. Yeah, it's still really great chances to hit. We're going to back up a bit. We got the range. Let's use it. Firing. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay. At least it's not a sun spider. Because that would be bad. Yeah. Let's not get to where the gauntlet can see us. I don't like that guy. Copy that. Let's move in here. Let's target the spider. Uh, pretty bad chance to hit with the streaks from what the other guys have been doing, but this guy did move a lot, so it's fire. Alright, it's a good start. Yeah, spread it around a little bit. So I'm considering pulling the streaks off of that guy, going all lasers, but we'll see how it goes. A couple of clan ER larges might be a nice idea. 
for their long range pinpoint damage because we want to start taking legs and stuff off. We can use uh, the Atticus and um, the uh, Stormcrow as the um, the close in mechs and then use the two Nobas as long range uh, uh, pinpoint damage mechs. That's a thought anyway. We'll have to see how it goes. Wow, these guys are really bad at targeting. Of course, now that I said that, see what happens. Minor damage. Minor damage. All right, buddy. Um, let's push our way in. Uh, what the turrets or the mech? Mech is really not scary at all, but these turrets. Um, gonna leave the regular medium laser off and fire the rest. All right, we should be able to finish him up this turn. Good to go. Uh, Duce, can you hit the turret? What can you hit it with? Everything. So let's do that. Copy that. Nicely done, buddy. That turret is gone. It is gone. Okay, we're gonna back up over here, like that. Moving out. Uh, let's get Mockingbird next. Um, can you actually? You can target the locust. Let's do that. Let's pull him out of the way. Nicely done. That's a kill. That is a kill. Back up. Receiving you. Ah, yeesh. Okay, let's just get into here. On it. Not the best. Not the best. Laser turret. That's pretty good chance to hit. I don't know. Maybe we can pull this guy down. Let's try it. Uh, do we go? Let's see if we can CT him. And fire. Yep. Okay, Gauntlet's decided he wants to come up and tango. Um, we got the range. Let's use it. On my way. Um, let's leave one of the mediums off. Uh, actually, we might as well use Warlord right now. Why not? Get some extra damage on this guy, drop our heat, and fire. Okay. And Griff. Uh, let's fire. Not quite enough, eh? Let's get the bird out here. I want that gauntlet to come to us. So we don't need everything. Let's not waste some heat on this. Let's just fire three. Okay. Well done. And I'm going to reserve El Duce. Let's get this gauntlet up here. If he decides to come up. He might come down along here. If he does, it's a bad move. But we'll see what he does. Yeah, he's moved back. can't get any eyes on him so let's stay up here to the left where he can't see us we got a couple of shots here so let's take them Firing on target. wow that's uh, really bad buddy yeah we knew we were going to take damage Okay, because I'm doing stuff that's stupid here. Full 
Uh, <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. I'm getting greedy. I think at this moment we can afford to be a little greedy. Uh, how much farther can you get up here? A little closer. More evasion is always better. Warlord, confirm. Offensive push. Leg, fire. Oh, I forgot to turn on two of the pulses. Shit. I really need to start doing that at the end of... I saw it just as soon as I click, click fire. <sighs> I'm dumbash. Alright, firing on this guy's leg. There we go. There's the knockdown. Now I I don't I think it's gorilla parts we have. I keep thinking it's gauntlet parts we have, but I think it's gorilla parts. <sighs> Go for up to the other leg here, and let's warlord it. Better chances to hit and fire. Should be pretty close, I think, to take. No, my God, you barely even hit it, dude. I hope he misses. Yeah. Alright, Griff, buddy. Show him how it's done. Target that leg. Sweep the leg! Sweep the leg! The leg, the leg. Don't shoot anything else. You've got good chances. Let's do that. Nicely done. Blockade, man. Your profile is changing, and I'm really liking it. Copy that, Commander. cuss. Firing. Nicely done. Luce. Move order received. And fire it all. Nicely done. Turret destroyed. No reinforcements yet, which is probably a really good thing for us. Can we always kill the turrets first? Well, that turret ain't camouflage no mo. Get in here. Turret, please. Save some heat. Oh, I thought we had enough to do it with. Really? Guess so. Um, yeah, one of those can stay off. There we go. Nothing can stop the clan onslaught. Commander. Confirm. Okay, kill the building in front. Give visions for everybody else to see the back back buildings. Not that it matters. Alright, Griff. This building first, please. Firing. Ooh. That is not a large building anymore. Sure, I'll shoot this one. Alright, let's go home. Alright, payment increased by 30%. More than enough to cover so our, uh, any damage we took. Don't think we took any crits, I would have noticed it, I think. Although I am half line, so maybe I wouldn't have. Alright. Now, the gauntlet parts. We are looking for max. Yeah, Thunderbolt 10, eh? 
Uh, nothing amazing down here that I absolutely have to have. So let's go back up here and once again, I normally don't choose mech parts, but in order to further the series, let's take these four. All right, one, two, three, four, five gauntlet parts, hunchback and locust part, and spider part. We got all the mech parts and then some stuff that we can sell here. Ah, another bonus core, cool. Got two of these now. Okay, 18,000, easily repaired. So let's get our second lance loaded up here. Financial report in two days, which is fine. Uh, let's go right into the next contract. And let's take the weakest link against Clan Wolf. It's an assassinate mission. Uh, I think we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. At least I hope we don't with our lowest lance. Or our secondary lance. I don't want to call them lowest lance. So let's get ourselves up here. So Shogun, Sundance, Six Pack, and Hannibal the Cannibal. And let's get in the Grinner. The Adder, the Kit Fox, and the Jenner 2C, and let's get this done. Now, I know it's a Martian environment, but uh, hope we're running relatively cool here. We'll have to see how it goes. So it looks like we might only have one protection lance. Uh, there could be a lance at the back. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Let's get a firing line going up here in the swirlies. Quick it. Six pack. Don't quite have the speed. Let's just get over here out of the way. Double time. Let's go. Yes, Commander. Sundance. I think we do. Yeah, we do have the speed, so let's get up here. Understood. Moving fast. And you don't need to sprint. Let's just walk you up here for now. Save a little bit of heat because you are rel relatively hot. Before I forget, let's just go to Hannibal real quick. We want to designate one of these as Narc. And the rest is Artemis ammo. Yep, just like that. Okay, just before I forget. Uh, let's reserve. Huh. Reserving action. Ready for orders. Bandits. All right, we got vehicles. What do we got here? Joust, Smash, Scorpion, and Zora. All right, everything on the Joust. That's all we can shoot at. Let's do some good damage, I hope. Aye, aye. Okay, start. Getting the swirlies. And joust again and fire. Got it. Ping. Commander. Copy that. Let's get the joust gone. Firing. Nicely done. Forty tenner gone. Enemy vehicle. Got it. Full speed, no target. What do we got over here? A Jenner 2C. Really? Well, we got a crap ton of Jenner parts, so. Two down. One more for the rubbish this does not feel like a one and a half skull mission. I'm not going to complain though, well, even though I am complaining, but I shouldn't complain. Jenner moving first, probably? Yep. What are you doing, buddy? It's a lot of machine guns. That could have been worse. Could have been. He's probably nice and toasty by now. Okay, with these guys gone, shouldn't have to worry about too much. Uh, leave one ER off, fire the rest. 
Okay, Good pen job. to the interior. Let's finish it up with this guy. Wow. Really hot. Yeah, I have to leave one off. Fire the rest. Good to go. Just make uh -huh. sure we got a side shot. Fire everything. Boom, you're dead. You like that? No, I don't think he does. Doesn't like that very much. Okay, we're just going to back up, get our stability back, get our heat back. Order. Then we will engage. There's no point in rushing this battle. Doesn't have reinforcements. That we know of, anyway. Usually it would tell you right away. Gotta start moving forward. We need to exit the, the map over here in this corner, so... It's coming back. Still can't see us, though. It's alright, man. We can see you. Like it was yesterday, or clear as day. You know what I mean. <sighs> Do we want parts off this guy? Well, we can barely hit him, so let's just fire. Keep it up. Now we've decided we're just going to shoot a few times and then uh, leave it at that. Alright, uh, that's a really bad... Uh, let's just go with three. What's up, boss? We need freaking eyes on is what's up. Um... Let's just go with three. Waiting on you, Commander. Don't know who's gonna shoot on, but uh Man, you have the best chance to hit. Let's leave the ER off for now, but we'll fire the rest. Here we go. Okay, we got a narc on him. Thirty-nine, eh? Let's take it. Let's go over a little bit. All right. Normally don't do that, but it's going down. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, we might get another general out of this. Hooray for that! Watch my heat. Hopefully you won't have to worry about it after this match. Got it. Firing. All weapons are go. Standing by. Oh, you're in hell. Still 99% chance to hit though. Wow. We didn't get any leg hits. We're gonna kill this guy. Ah. Hostile removed. I hear ya. All right, guess the best way is this way. All right, guys, I'll see you at the evac zone. Roger that. All right, guys, we're out of here. On my way. Well, it wasn't too bad. Once again, very simple mission, unfortunately. All right, contract payment increased by 25%. We didn't take really any damage at all. Not even a bother looking. The Grinner took the most damage, but barely anything. Uh, so what do we want? Three pieces of salvage. 
ATM 9 probably, ER large laser. How many of these guys do we have? Four, so we don't need any more. Uh, I don't need any ER mediums. Well, LBX 5. We got seven of these. I think we should get another one. LRM 10. We got four of these guys. Uh, Ultra 5 clam. We only got one of these. Let's put it there for now. I don't know. Klein XL engine for cash. Exchanger maybe? Do we have any? We've got one left still. Uh, ECMs, enhanced imaging, accuracy minus one recoil. We've got one still. Um, yeah, I guess. Well, you know what? I don't think we do. We have any Ultra Five ammo? We've got one. Not like we could run two anyway. Let's have a look at the ammo down here. Cluster LBX5 ammo, we've got one. LBX5 slug, we've got two. So let's grab some of this in case we decide to put an LBX build together. Sure, why not? ATM, large laser, machine guns. Yeah, not too bad ATM ammo, okay. Okay. <laughs> nothing. Alright, so let's move off this planet now. Let's have a look at what it looks like here first though. Um, probably not all that great. Uh, well, Diamond Shark and Hell's Horses have got a little bit of a grip here, so if anyone comes back they get some get some missions. What do we got over here? Diamond Shark and Wolf. Diamond Shark. How long is it going to take to go there? 17 days. So let's go there and see what we can get in their store. I'm interested to see what's in the clan store. I wrapped up that I've got the financial report. Yeah, we're still good with all this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've got most stuff anyway. It's like having that store access, unless it's got something really, really amazing in it. Um, I don't know. Being allied with a faction really doesn't get you much. I mean, choice contracts maybe, but... Really? I don't know. Waypoint reached, Commander. Let's have a look at the store here. Then we'll jump over and fight some more clan uh, wolf stuff. Uh, and I don't have access to the faction store. Why don't I? It's Diamond Shark, isn't it? Diamond Shark Planet. I'm allied with them. Um, is there no clan store? Possibility. No faction store. Oh well. Not much we can really do about that. Uh, heat band clan. Uh, minus nine heat per turn. It's nice to have. But I don't want to pay 900,000 for it. Arrow arm ammo. You're goddamn right. New equipment available. Gonna buy that up. ATM ammo, we've still got a bunch. Uh, LBX 20 cluster ammo. We've got one. It's cheap enough, let's buy another one. Rack 20. What? Streak ammo. Ultra 5 ammo. Let's buy one. Ultrified double? Sure. New equipment available. Just gonna buy these because I'm eventually we're probably gonna be building an ultra build and we might as well have extra ammo stored up for stuff like that. Rack 20, man. <sighs> 20 caseless ammo. Huh. I don't want to pay this price for this. I know it's probably a deal, but I don't want to pay it. Uh, a large pulse laser, ERPPC clan. Wow, look at the price on that, eh? Better off just grabbing it off the battlefield. We got two of these anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal, but... Anyway, okay, let's have a look at the uh, star map again. Because we are at a diamond shark planet. Let's go here. 
Um, they are. That's 100% Diamond Shark now. This was this not like part wolf a few minutes ago. Two missions ago it was. I mean, we could go back here. Still only two skulls, though. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's go up here in settings. And let's go to uh, difficulty. Let's crank this up to three. And see if we get anything moving over there. I don't know if it updates right away. Um... It might not, but it might when we jump systems. So let's head back over to Launderholm. It's only 17 days. See what we can get there. Uh, whoever was over here did a great job. We could fight Goliath Scorpion, but I would rather have anybody but but uh, Wolf on a planet. So let's move back to Launderholm, see if we can help out Diamond Shark and Hell's Horses. So let's set course. Ship upgrade is almost done. Uh, seven naked bodies come flying out of the low pool. Yeah, I'm erasing that recording. That's it's fine, man. <laughs> I don't see what the problem is. That's what the low pool's pool is there for. You guys want to go in there in the middle of the night and just fly around naked? Whatever, whatever, man. That's why we put. That's why we put it in. Uh, if Doctor Murad's got a problem with it, then. You know, we just we'll just get them to clean the, the mech warriors to clean it up afterwards. That's all. That work order is complete, boss. Top notch work, if I may say so. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Yeah, it cost us a couple of financial reports, but no big deal. Well, it cost us really only one. We had to take one to travel anyway. So, see if there's anything in the store here. Nothing really. Okay, see what the contracts are. So it might be good. Might be okay. So we do get some of these guys. Hot landing. Priority mission. Could take the second lance and do that one, maybe. Heavy lance by Wolfie and Dropship. So this might be good salvage at one skull. So that's a possibility. A lot of wolf there. And that's it? Oh wait, that can't be it. So let's have a look at the mech warriors real quick again, then we'll come back. So Avalanche we're leaving. Uh, blockade's done. El Duce Griff. Let's get Griff's um, guts up. Get some better health. Or, you know what I mean, better guts and overheat threshold. And Mockingbird. Let's get our cult shot in there. Probably why you can't hit legs. You can destroy mechs, but you just can't hit legs. Um, yep, we need our cult shot bonus in there. And we got six pack with nothing and Sundance with nothing okay so let's go this was supposed to be a longer episode so that's fine maybe first two missions were really quick and really simple let's see if we can pull off a couple more quick ones maybe here uh, just to go break down Hullavid wow like nothing we got ripped off on the higher end of things three skull difference or one and a half skull difference could put us up to three and a half, but it's not, so this is as big as we got. Who's this against? Defend base. Okay, so the wolf's gonna attack this base. So let's take that one. That's local government. So let's take well it's gonna be a longer mission, but that's fine. Let's negotiate this. We should do okay. And let's bring the main lance back in. Uh, or do we want to take the other one first? These guys are up. Let's take the quicker mission first. These guys are loaded. So let's do that. Um, take the priority. Then we'll come down and do that one. Hot landing, priority, one skull, negotiate. Full salvage, please. Yes, thank you. Clan Wolf is really hating us right about now. All right, let's deploy these guys and get the sucker done. All right, here we go. 
So let's just see if it's just this one lance up here. It's supposed to be a heavy lance, so... I don't know. Maybe some mediums? Maybe? I don't know. Let's just move up over here. We know the drill on this map. We know the drill. Get the cover first. Worry about the enemy mech second. So not be in the open. And hopefully our ECMs cover us for the first turn again. Hannibal the cannibal. Oh, what do we got? Time to earn our pay. He's decided to move up. These guys mean business, so that's uh, mean business right back. Good to go. Uh huh. Okay, let's get our ammo set up. Well, we want Narc on the first one and. Artemis in the second. Let's load this guy up. Um, let's leave this off for now and fire the rest. Ping! He's firing machine guns. We're firing missiles. Yeah. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I hear him. It's going to be a fight, guys. It's going to be a fight. I'm hearing vehicles moving back there. Jenner's slow, so it's a target. We need to get up behind the hills here. Two vehicles, scimitar, Zora light tank. Hearing more vehicles moving from this side too. So when they say heavy lance, they don't really mean a heavy lance, they really mean two lances. I think if nothing else presents itself here, this Jenner is the only guy that can see us right now and censor us, so we're going to rip him a new one to, in the next turn. Here in another vehicle. It's all vehicles. Okay. At least it seems that way. Okay, what do we got up here? Grinner? Okay. Scorpion 2C. Shmash. Reconnaissance vehicle. So right now this guy is kind of the threat. Fire everything on his side. Wow, the whole second second half missed. Guard a critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. You don't need to be close. Let's just get back here. And uh, yeah, hammer away. Okay, Sundance, let's finish this up, please. Stick close. We want to make sure we're all ECM'd here. Double time. Let's go. Everything in the side, please, including the flamer. Uh, hopefully we claim the leg. Wow. It's a lot of misses. Inflicted some heavy damage. It's lost initiative, though. It's pretty much it for him. Now the heavy guns. Not really that heavy, but heavier. Firing. We get the leg? No? <gasps> we didn't get the leg. Yeah. Eight points or so left. Oh wait, he's got 40 structure? That's about, yeah, about 10 points left, probably. Light damage. Holding firm. It's the Zora firing, I think. Okay. I was really hoping to have this guy gone this turn. Doesn't have much left though. He's got half of his side left. Come on, vehicles. What are you doing? There should be somebody else over here, but I guess not. Maybe it's two two halves or third. Quarter strength lance? No, two, <laughs> three quarter strength lances. I was thinking twenty five percent off, but I'd like to get more Grinner parts. 
Although I don't think I would change this lance. It's actually pretty well laid out right now, pretty well balanced. ECMs would be working great if uh, this guy wasn't here. Just a general left, I think, now. Wonder if he's going to move forward or try and back up. Either way, I want to try and pull these three down next turn. This guy should be... Oh, he's going that way, eh? Good, that's where we're going. See if we can finish this guy up. You know Markenberg, but I'll take it. Yeah, he's had it. Commander. Stick together, please. Stick together. If we can. Eesh. Don't want to take too much of a chance on that. Shoot this guy. See what we can get out of it. Okay, three side hits. Not bad. This guy's light enough armor. 45 on the front. I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could kill him with the LRMs, but we might not be able to. Wow, we can spot the Grinner from that distance. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got the view cockpit on this guy, don't we? Pretty sure we do. Doesn't it have... Sensor recon, yeah. Looks like sweet. Thought we had... Ah. Waiting for orders. Okay. Wow, really hot. Flamer's not needed, just fire these. Okay, nicely done. Ultra 5 off the battlefield. Hannibal a cannibal. Affirmative. Wow, that's really bad. That's even worse. Let's just take pot shots. We got the ammo. Might as well fire it. Yeah, at least we got a uh, narc on him. Oh, they got a raven back there too. All right. Under strength lance and a full strength lance. Distance holding. If we kill that Shamash fast this next turn and pull back, uh, we might be able to take a turn to breathe before we hit these other guys. Come on guys, move faster. I got another battle to do here. Come on. If you guys keep moving slowly, we're not going to have another battle to go to. Pew. All right, one guy left to go here. Zora. Yes, Commander. All right. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Okay, nicely done. One more for the rubbish bin. 
I'm there. My heat gauge is getting pretty high. Yep, it is. Just relax. Just relax. Come on, you guys. Vehicle moving next? Nope. Grinner. Backing up a bit, eh? Probably because he can't see us, I bet ya. We could see you, though. Aye, aye. But I don't think we should take the shot. Well, we might as well. Why not? Yeah, 36 points on him. Worth the start anyway. Yeah, I don't think they can see us. I hear ya. You betcha. Sure, why not? Ping. We can engage these guys from range. No, nope, they can see us. That's fine. Good to go. I'm here. Roger. Waiting for orders. Get ready to strike. I know, it seems like we're delaying, but... I don't want to move in against the Grinner and the uh, Raven without having uh, good heat and um, good stability. Yes, Commander. The secondary units will do some On damage to us if we're not careful. Nice chances to hit now. Firing. Okay. Yeah, they can't see us yet. Some are moving forward, probably. Up into here. Come on, buddy. Figure it out. I'm receiving you. All right, guys, let's give him hell. Roger. Well, he moved way up here, eh? Let's mess this guy up. Firing. Order. Got it. Surprise! Oh, four hits, nice. And he's unstable now too. Heavy damage. Commander. God, I love the speed on these mechs. Acknowledged. It's just insane. Okay, let's kill this guy. Roger. And fire. Tell me what to do. Nothing like spreading that damage around. All right, let's see what they do. Flanking maneuver. Yep, thanks for coming out, buddy. Uh, 
Okay, buddy, let's go, Scorpion. Or Scimitar. This guy's got four missile systems. I think this guy's got it, just an Ultra 5. And some probably some close weapons. Turning his back armor. Come on, Ultra 5 boy, let's go. I wonder if we should just kill these guys next and then focus on the Grinner last. I think so. See if we can get rid of this guy. Yep. Boom. Killed the fuel cell, but need to get rid of him. Let's get rid of this guy. Or not? Waiting on you, Commander. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Uh, that's kind of a waste of a full shot. I think it's better on this guy. Let's use the ER as well. Okay, we should be able to kill him now. Yep. Okay, down to just the Grinner. Make turns go faster anyway. Come on, buddy. Decide what you do before you die. Bet you he point blanks the, uh, the Jenner here. Nope. Oh. Different choice. Actually, not that bad of a move, because he puts his damage side to the wall, but I'm receiving you. it's not going to save you. Acknowledged. Not going to save you. Roger. That hit something good. Not going to bail out, huh? Ready for orders. For it's not going to bail out. Moving out. Let's see if we can get him to bail out now. Almost out of uh, LRM ammo. Uh -huh. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Not going to bail out, huh? Not going to okay. do it. Okay, let's see if we can take this torso. There we go. Mission successful. All right, 48,000. That should cover repairs without a problem. And we didn't really take a little, not any internal damage. A lot of splash damage, but that's it, really. And we got Jenner 2, we got 4 salvage here, ATM 6. Let's just see if we have any big ticket items at the bottom, medium pulse. Are we out of those? We got 3 left. So we got lots. Uh, Ultra 5 we don't need. Endo steel, do we have? We've got 1 left. 250 core. Fuel cell is what? 2.25. So this is a good cell. That's a good cell. Um, do I want to pick up an exchanger? I don't know. Oh, defense gyro. That's always good to have. The w one evasion pip is one of this one of the few items you got now that gives you extra evasion. So you want to pick that up if you can. Uh, clan heatsink kits. We want sea bills. That's probably the way to go over this over the uh, fuel cell. Uh, 
anything else down here up a ballistic watchdog suite but I want to grab this probably we'll end up using it at some point in the future nothing else down here we absolutely have to have SRM dead fire though don't have any no I think what we have is the best so let's just choose this all right Grinner parts three of them nice Gen R2 C part ER mediums more machine guns we got lots of those now medium pulse came in uh, supercharger yeah I mean the walk distance is kind of nice it's good this is kind of better for um, heavier mechs I think but heat generated from weapons fire uh, LRM okay not bad all right, well, 18,000 repairs in two days. Not so bad at all. And I think what we'll do is we'll avoid taking the base defense mission. Uh, but let's take um, Favor to Regret Battle. Government Lance. Ah. Yeah, tracking a convoy. What else do we... Oh, this might be... What else? Cease and desist is against pirates. Humanitarian is against... Uh, that's an escort, though. It's going to take too long. So let's go with... Uh, it's pirates, right? Yeah. Logistical breakdown. Clan, against Clan Wolf. Let's do this. Against Martian terrain. And we'll take our main lance. Um, actually, you know what? Got our second lance loaded. There's no point taking the main lance for this mission. So let's get these guys back and just go again. Might as well. They need experience, so let's do this. Logistical breakdown. Go against Clan Wolf again. Negotiate. Full salvage. Accept. And let's deploy these guys and get it done. All right, let's get this sucker done. Oh yes, this quick move. Right. So we got bust our ass catching up to these guys. So let's do that. All right. We got the speed. What's up, boss? Got the talent. Let's get this shit done. Good to go. You don't need to be as fast. Double time. But it's nice when you're up there to put the LRMs in somebody's face. And before I forget, uh, gotta remember to do this. I'd like to get some dead fire ammo for those moments when I've got a mech in my face. So let's hope it's not all vehicles we're facing. We don't need any weapons or equipment. Sounds like it's all vehicles though. Funny Darius, I don't actually see them anywhere. So glad you can tell me that my sensors should be picking them up, and they're not there. They ain't there, buddy. Stick together. Keep your stick on the ice. Don't get beat. Waiting for orders. Got it. Max speed. No shooting. I don't know if it's all vehicles or not. Get up in the swirlies if we can. Out. Yeah, it's all vehicles. Zora, Scimitar, Pegasus, Transport Truck, Zora, Armored Mobile HQ, Indira. So these guys are the... So this is the guards. So let's fire on them. 
Okay, not a bad start. Commander. Just need to worry about uh, heat on this map. Firing. Okay, one down. Reporting. One less vehicle. We drew first blood. Yeah, sure, why not? Here we go. Primary target is damaged, Commander. Keep it up. Okay, I got a ping on him. What's up, boss? Pretty good chances firing. Alright, we got two of them. What's up, buddy? Well, at least their guards are full strength and stuff. And these guys are slow. Okay. Yes, Commander. Moving at full throttle. All right, let's fire three on the side of this guy. Nicely done. Waiting for order. Moving to position. Wow. So hot. Acknowledged. Okay. Standing by. Affirmed. Okay, three on the side. Nicely done. Oh, that guy's a sniper, man. Head hit. Say hello to my little friend. Uh -huh. Well, a lot of my little friends. Bye -bye. Oh, I lost the SRM dead fire, eh? I'd rather have the LRM dead fire anyway. Come on. Yeah. Yep, firing on this guy. Roger. Yeah, way to spread it out. Ready for orders. Position confirmed. Target confirmed. What can I do 
for you. That Zora is annoying me. You think you could take care of it for me? Thank you. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Don't. They're gonna shoot you. On my way. All right, three shots in front of this guy. There we go. Okay, we're in cleanup mode, guys. Warning. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Thank you very much. Reporting minimal damage. Infantry transport, huh? I'm here. I'm there. You're everywhere. Ah, 125. That's not bad. Um, a hundred. Better chance to kill that guy, so let's fire on him. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. I know he's farther in the back, but if we can take a, a target off the map, let's do it. Ah, really? There we go. Heads up, Enemy Ooh. Maybe they're mechs. Waiting on you, Commander. Going turbo. Think we can do enough damage? Probably. Leave the narc off, fire the rest. Got it. Uh, not quite. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's finish these guys up and get some heat back. Okay, fire on the back side of this guy. I'm gonna use three. Receiving you. They're slowly moving up, but they are not gonna get here in time. I think we can finish this guy with the medium Target pulses? Lost. Probably, eh? Or not. <sighs> oh, for Christ's sake. Really? Oh, this is a hot planet. All right, firing. That's a vehicle kill. It sure is. Let's hope we can clean this guy up now. They got a vehicle moving in, okay. Roger. Engaging target. Get your map to the L. Excellent. I'm coming in hot. Yes, Commander. 
Let's get up behind this rock, cool off. We're not done here yet. Let's make sure these guys are turned back on, otherwise I'll forget. Man, we could all use another turn of, like, cooling off here. Well, at least the Jenner could. Roger that. Okay, Jenner 2C. I gotta hit that guy hard and fast. Opponent Pursuit Tank Prime. Is that all they have? I'm receiving you. Could be. All right, let's move. Looks like. Yeah, man. Good hits. Good hits. Roger. Full speed. Fire four. All right, I only got one hit out of that. I think the Jenner. No, the opponent. See what he does. Come on. Don't think too hard. Game's not that difficult. Whoa, that's a lot of machine guns. At least he didn't take a head hit. Normally I take the head hits from those light machine guns. Not this time. He should move back behind the rock here. But I bet you he moves forward into here. Nope. Smart move. Not going to save you though, because we do have these guys on this side. Affirmative. Oh, fuck! I didn't see. Oh. I'm a dumbass. I was looking at pressing the radio buttons, and uh, anyway. There's no excuse for being an idiot. <sighs> Firing. Here we go. That's a critical hit. That is. God, I'm loving the loadout in this Jenner. Clan LRMs. You don't get the bonus LRMs, that's fine. But because they're so light, you can load up lots of LRMs, lots of ammo, and then just switch between it. All we need to do is find dead fire ammo now. And then just get a missile targeting system that gives you plus one damage or something. The LRMs become hyper dangerous. Ah! <gasps> okay, it's a leg. We can always put the leg back together. It's a 50 ton pursuit tank. I shouldn't be uh, sneezing at its potential for, for chaos here. Doesn't have a lot of armor on it though. Well, actually pretty good armor. Okay, where did he take most of his damage? Side and front. So let's get right up his nose. Uh, we're gonna go into the overheat. Acknowledge. Oh, you kidding me? Heat damage. Damn it. You got the other. What's up, you got the other side. Why did you do that? Got to kill this guy in now. Roger that. There we go. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Oh, we actually get to stand up before they do. Oh, that's interesting. Back on my feet, Commander. You are. Oh no! 
My mech is limping. Oh no. Yeah, why not? Firing. Right, Commander. Critical hit. High explosive HE ammo destroyed. Still got lots of machine guns though. Radiation, radiation, radiation. Wow, it's a lot of radiation. Fire in the leg. Roger A lot of radiation. Firing. Taking the shot. Ready for orders. Oh, for Christ's sake. Saw me put my freaking mouse right on the hex. Hooray for radiation. Can you all say radiation damage? Ooh. Wow. Missed. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Waiting for orders. All right, here it comes. Yeah, make sure you wreck all the most important things that we could use. Who are you coming after, our Jenner? Alright. Uh, can we use three? Yeah, if we overheat. Just use two. Go after that leg. Ooh. Standing by. Another pilot injury. Oops. Copy that. Come on, man. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. There it is. Thank you. Nicely done. Mission successful. All right. Contract payment increased by 35%, which we're going to need more than this for repairs, probably. Because of this, eh, not much we can do about it. We lost the double heat sink in the leg, and I know we lost the double heat sink somewhere else here. Oh, maybe it was that one double heat sink that we lost originally, and then so we got hit by a plasma cannon that took out a double heat sink. Maybe it was the same one. Okay. I, I'm, I'm so tempted just to take the three mech parts. Well, let's look for some... We can always get C-bills later. Although we don't need another Gen or 2C, I don't think. A lot of engines. Fuel cells we, we could take. Uh, is there any... Oh, another defense gyro. Yes, please. Uh, clan double heatsink kit. Yes, please, for C-bills. Upper ballistics. No, another watchdog suite. These are really great, though. Not. That's from dead fire ammo. No. Fuel cell, I guess.
We were looking for sea bills, so. They were out of case, that's another thing we should look at getting. Well, let's hope we roll it. There's three of them here, so let's see what we get. Okay, we got a gender part, nice. ATM 6, bunch of weapons. And that's about it. All right. Let's have a look. 111,000, okay. Could have been a lot worse. I was not expecting to lose that leg, but at least it was a leg and not anything else that was important. All right, guys, so that was a long episode. I apologize for that, but uh, we did need a lot of sea bills, so I am going to get all this stuff uh, back up and running. Um, well, we'll probably wait, I think, because we got the mainlands to go yet still. So when we come back next time, we'll run the mainlands. I'll sell a bunch of stuff in the meantime. We'll see how many sea bills we made today. And, um, yeah, so uh, when we come back next time, it'll be a little shorter episode. Hopefully the 1.5 patch will be almost finalized by then. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right. So uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe and leave any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.